How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're not using offline mode in Escape from Tarkov, then you definitely should be. It's a great way to practice. I'm gonna run through all the settings and explain what they do for you today so you can use it to improve at the game. Let's dive in and have a look at what the settings are and what they do. So you can use offline mode for every map. You can do it on labs, but you will need a labs key card to get in. I will show you it now. So when you go into a normal raid with your PMC, you're going to, as if you're going into normal raid, choose your map. So we'll use woods, for example. Choose what time of day you want to go on. And then when you get to this screen, you're just going to tick enable offline mode. So when you go into offline mode, you won't lose anything at all. Even the ammo that you fire in the raid, you'll get that back afterwards. So it's literally just a practice playground for you to get to grips with maps or get to grips with different guns. I know we've got the firing range and the hideout, but it's not as good as actually shooting at moving targets and stuff like that. So you just tick this enable offline mode for this raid. That will put you into offline mode. You can tick underneath random weather conditions, which will change the sun, sunny, cloudy, rainy, whatever. I don't tend to mess with that. I'll just leave this off. Random time. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. You can either choose day or night. You may want to mess around with it if you feel like you want to feel free to click that and then this is this is the what we're interested in really this is the bit for practicing you tick enable pve that will put all the scabs and stuff into the maps and then you can leave the ai difficulty and ai amount as online so it'll be you'll, you'll play it and it'll be exactly like online just minus the players you won't get no progression or stuff like that so it's just for practice or you can change it to even more difficult than online so like impossible random so some of the scavs will be bots some of them will just be literally aim bots and will just one shot you it's good for practicing movement getting to cover and that sort of stuff the AI amount you can leave as online or you can choose low medium high or horde and then enable bosses. This will make the bosses spawn into the maps. So Rashala will spawn on customs and so on and so forth. Tagged and cursed. What this will do is as soon as you spawn into the map and then as soon when you're on the map, as soon as the scavs spawn into the map, they will hunt you down. They'll know exactly where you are and they'll come straight for you and try and push you and they'll play aggressive, which gives you a good chance to practice getting in cover defending positions against players and scavs that are pushing you out. It's not going to be players, but it's going to be scavs. Some of them, if they're on high difficulty, they're better than some players anyway, probably me included, to be fair. So I need to use this a lot more than I currently do. And then scav war, this will just make the scavs fight each other. If they see each other, they'll shoot at each other. So if you put it, to put it onto horde and scav war and bosses, it would be mental. I'll show you a little clip of what that's like in a minute, but these are the things you can do. You can choose what options you want. So tick enable bosses, leave it as online, and then we'll spawn into customs. It doesn't take as long to load as it does when you're loading into an actual regular raid. So it doesn't have to match players or anything like that. So it just loads the map, loads the loot, and plops you in. So there we go, we've loaded, we're deploying in. In three seconds, I'll show you just quickly what it's like. This is just completely as online mode. The loot will spawn as well. That was my phone going off, excuse that. The loot will spawn as well, so you can use this to check like spawn points and stuff like that. If you want to check where loot spawns, you can use this mode for that as well. See, we've spawned on woods. And it's exactly the same as online mode, just without the players and without the risk of losing all your gear. If you get into grips of the game, you don't want to be losing your gear. So you can use this mode to learn the maps without risking anything. And then once you're comfortable with the maps, tag it online and start playing a bit more with a bit more confidence and stuff like that. I hope you find this helpful. There's been a lot of new players. There's been a surge in popularity in Escape from Tarkov recently. So all the new players that do see this, I hope you find this really helpful. And everyone that watches this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for regular Escape from Tarkov content. I'll try and help you guys. I can make videos that you want me to make. Let me know in the comments if you want to see something explained. Uh, good luck in your raids and I'll speak to you soon. Catch you later.